So recently, the company Imers reached out to me to try their 48 set of acrylic markers. And since they were kind enough to let me speak honestly on the product and let me review it the way I'd like to, I said yes. So hi everyone, I'm Ward and welcome to my channel Ward Draws A Lot, and this week we're going to test out these markers with an illustration. The inside of the package of course contained the markers, but also had a pamphlet inside on how to use them and also some swatches, but what really stood out to me was the amount of colors that came in this pack. Just off of first impressions, I really liked the way the markers looked, and for the price of $25.99 for 48 markers, coming out to $0.54 cents a piece, I thought that it would be a great deal. It also included extra nibs and the tweezer to take the nib out to replace it. So let's take a look at the marker itself. It says acrylic painter in like a metallic font and also has the steps on how to use each marker, which is number one, shake several times, number two, press down the tip a few times on the surface, three, recap the marker tightly after use, and four, store the marker horizontally. There is no name or <laughs> like number indicator to show what color it is, instead you just have the color. The nib is a standard 1mm nib that's rounded at the top. The marker also has a matte look and feel to it, which I actually really liked. So right away I was kind of excited to use these, and it was honestly because of the colors. The colors looked really nice, bright, vibrant, just from the outside, because you could see the color that's inside. It's a transparent barrel, so the colors are just right there in front of your face, and honestly I was kind of happy to try them out. Now. Despite this, <laughs> there's going to be the whole pumping and doing process, okay? So, uh, if you've come to this channel often enough, or if you hear me talk about acrylic paint markers, I'm not a fan of the pump mechanism. I never am. Because the flow is inconsistent, and just the way the markers pump out, I just don't like the hassle, right? Pure example, this entire pack took me like literally an hour and a half to swatch okay there are 48 markers right and each one you're gonna have to shake for 30 seconds pump get the ink out so it takes quite a while for it to actually go down now on top of this factor some colors flow much better than others so they're easier to put down on the paper than others some colors have like a low viscosity which means that it just comes out way easier some are high viscosity which means that it's going to take a little bit more elbow grease to get onto the paper but in the little pamphlet that they gave us they actually explain this which i honestly really appreciate because some brands won't do that but this one is honest enough and says Hey, some of these colors are going to be a little harder to get out because their formula is a little different compared to other colors. So I appreciate that they completely did that for us, which honestly, every company should. So now let's talk about the colors for a second, right? Because there are 48 of them. Now of the 48, 36 are matte colors and they are honestly really pretty. I like how bright they are and vibrant and I honestly was really excited to go ahead and use them. The rest of the markers are metallic or have some kind of shine to them. There's like a silver, a gold, and a bronze. And then there's a set of sparkly pens, which kind of leaves some glitter behind once you use them. Which I personally always like using some kind of shine when it comes to the jewelry that like I put on my characters. So I like the fact that it did come with like a metallic gold and a metallic bronze and all the little sparkly things because I just personally like them. Now, each set of colors, like a green set, has a nice amount of colors. So there's six different ones, and they honestly are a different green every time. Same thing with the reds, oranges, blues, purples, uh, skin tones, and the um, metallics slash white, black, and gray. I actually like the amount of range that we get here. I personally find it nice. Here are the sparkly pens and the metallic colors in action if you wanted to see how they shifted in light. The silver is probably the best performing one out of all of them. If you're curious as to whether they blend or not, they kind of do. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease and honestly, I wouldn't suggest it. When it comes to acrylic paint pens in general, not just these but in general, I don't find a point in honestly blending them. If you wanted to blend acrylic paint together, then just blend acrylic paint. Acrylic paint markers, on the other hand, I feel like work best when you kind of layer them or just do cell shading. I think that's the best option when it comes to acrylics. That still, however, did not stop me from trying to blend them in the illustration, though. Haha. <laughs> 
Now, uh, the little pamphlet that they gave us had a printed side of the colors and an empty side for us to fill in to kind of compare. And I thought it was weird because here they give the colors names, but on the markers there's no <laughs> color names. So I just tried to match it up with the order that I was already prepared in. So I was lucky enough that it didn't jumble anything up. The printed side is of course darker than the freshly swatched side. This is going to be for any marker, whether it's alcohol markers, acrylic markers, any of them are always going to look darker printed than they would be freshly swatched. Here's our illustration for the day. It's kind of like this football character that I created. I'm, I'm slowly trying to make a little football alternate universe with other characters. I only have one other for now, <laughs> but eventually we'll get there. I started off with the bottom drawing just because, I'll be honest with you, the bottom drawing, I was like, if I mess this one up, then, you know, I'm I'm fine with it. The one on the top, though, I was like, I'm not messing that one up. So I start off with the one that I like the least, just in case things don't turn out the best. Now, okay. <laughs> so... I feel like I'm pretty confident in my art and my skills and with how I color and I have my process down pat, right? I'm, I'm pretty confident in myself. When it came to these markers, right, some of them just didn't work as properly as I liked them to, okay? Um, the flow and the viscosity and all that jazz just sometimes was not working with me. Some of the markers, I really struggled with getting the flow of the ink out. It just wasn't happening. I would even recap it, reshake it, and pump it as much as I could and do everything in my power to try and just get the ink out. At some point, I would even just, just bash the marker on the paper straight up. <laughs> I would just bash the marker on the paper to get a blot of ink out and then just use my finger to kind of rub the ink everywhere just because that was the best option. It just was not working. But when it came to some markers, the flow was beautiful, right? I just, oh man, I have such a hate, love-hate relationship with this, right? Because I like the colors of the markers, and when the flow is nice, it's nice, and it works beautifully, and it puts down nicely, and it doesn't, like, look really textured or weird, right? And then some markers are just the complete opposite. Like they would give a lot of texture, the flow is inconsistent, the colors just kind of separated or something. It just was so 50-50. Like when I did the football, the browns worked beautifully there. They just looked so nice and they laid down so good. And I wasn't struggling for my life <laughs> to put them down. But then you had the colors like the skin tone, which just, oh man, there was just so much back and forth with it. and. A good amount of layering to kind of close any of the gaps that were left behind from the like ink flow so it was just it was just such a battle for a lot of it like this drawing right here which normally would take me maybe max abs absolute max for me 45 minutes took like two hours bro it was just a, it was a battle for over dog i was on the field bro was, there was tanks everywhere i was i was ducking hiding for cover it was an actual war zone on this paper okay and what i tried to do to give the drawing like you know some blended color was go on top with colored pencils and it was not a good option the color pencils just was not looking good on top and i felt like i was just digging a deeper hole <laughs> that I really wanted and I just kept going back and forth and I was like man this is just not gonna work so I was like okay let's take the eraser maybe I could just straight up erase it away and on the bright side it did erase so I was like okay at least we have that <laughs> it ended up erasing and I could just go back in with acrylic marker and make it work and it turns out even if you ink on top of these acrylic paints you can erase the ink so <laughs> So on the bright side, if you make a huge mistake with the color pencils or the inking, it'll be completely gone and you don't have to worry about it. Now, as a result of me, either me not using them correctly or the markers not working correctly with me, 
A or B. <laughs> um, I ended up changing the page that I was going to color. I, instead, I took off that little drawing at the top that I really liked, and you know, I didn't want I didn't want to mess that up. So I took it to the side <laughs> instead, and then I replaced it with a giant Go Cobra sign. I I was like, you know what, let's just pick an animal that would totally work on a football team. And I was like, sure, cobras. So we made just like this giant banner of the cobra thing. And I drew the cobra to the side just because I kind of really wanted to put him in that idea that he is a part of the team and everything. And, you know, I just I did the best I could straight up right and it was just really bothering me that like i wasn't getting a good outcome with these markers so i went i went nuts i was like okay let's try them on different paper let's try them blah 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 and then i went to my sketchbook and i just doodled with them i just straight up doodled with them and honestly that was the best option for them these markers shine when you just doodle with them either add little extras to drawings or do some lettering with them and then just kind of maybe even do a little graffiti or something with them honestly that's that's where they work the best okay they don't work the greatest for large illustrations they just don't i think they're just literally meant for little doodles on rocks or like on canvas or on paper and that's just it so yeah i hope this review helped you guys out if you were thinking of getting something like this or along the lines and yeah, thanks for watching, and remember I love you. Bye!